Hello everyone. Um, first off, I'll say it's been a little bit of a time since I've done a video. Um, this video, as you'll know by the title, is an unboxing video from a very nice fella uh, that I met through YouTube. Um, his name's Gary. I won't give his full name over YouTube. Uh, but he goes by the name Hot Rodney Prime on YouTube. Uh, he's a fellow car boot hunter uh, looking for old toys, vintage stuff and he's picked up some bits that he wasn't so worried about what I quite fancied and I managed to have a few doubles so we've done a little bit of a swap seat round um, and he's very kindly sent a box now I thought it'd be nicer to do the unboxing on video um, I assume he hasn't sent me a water pump because that's what the box was though it may be um, and I have about to open it on the top which he did put on uh, Facebook to open it this way up so hopefully there's not some kind of weird surprise in there um, I'm sure there isn't um, yeah I'll get straight on with the unboxing I was going to waffle on about not being on for a while and that but I'll save that for another video right get into the unboxing always being careful using your knives this is of course what I use at work so I'm a bit more used to opening bits and bobs there we go oh. straight away I see a small card in there with a little tiny Optimus Prime open that first Christmas card which is very nice. I did send Gary one as well. Uh, I'll read it out, it's easier. To John, enjoy the MOTU which is Master of the Universe figures which I knew, plus extras so I don't know what else. Hope you have a great Christmas with your lot. Look forward to a new year and good hunting Gary. Well, thank you Gary. I do appreciate that, that's very nice of you. Right, on to the unboxing now as obviously where well, I read that out that is a little bit of a tip off that there were a couple of Masters of the Universe figures that Gary managed to pick up at boot fair and run through the bubble wrap now these are ones I've kind of been after because they're the originals which is great for me because these were the ones what I really would like to get I did find different versions on the boot fairs myself and the first being the original He-Man, that uh, is one I really did want to try and find, but Master Universe figures only pop up now and again, so really great, thank you very much Gary, that's really good. And the next one, now I have seen this figure before when I've been boot fan, and I actually thought it was a knockoff or something, just a strange figure based on Master Universe, and it's actually Eva Lynn, but I thought because of the weird yellow jaundice colour it wasn't actually the proper of the universe figure so I passed it up but luckily Gary found one so again that's really great and then the last one which I uh, must say is one I've been after I have got another version of him and my other half will also appreciate this because he was also a favourite character in He-Man and that as well and that's an original of the first wave Skeletors really great to pick that up and the face paint is in pretty tidy condition which is always a, a sort of like a bit of a bugbear but also got his chest shield and armour and that on there as well so that's really good I shall uh, give him a good old clean up and put him with the rest of the Master Universe bits while on the shelf now to the other bits I do know odd bits what Gary has said about and what we had set up in our deal now I can see something else what wasn't part of it which is I'm sure you'll find it funny no end um, a knockoff figure yes you can feel the quality so I'm sure Gary's laughing at this point um, a knockoff brawl from G1 um, yeah you can almost feel the brittleness <laughs> um, very interesting it's a bit oversized as well a little bit bigger 
Um, yeah, thank you very much, Gary. I'm sure I'll find a place for it somewhere. <laughs> Uh, the next bit is again something else that Gary managed to pick up the boot fair now. It's not for the vintage figures, but I thought it would work and help sort of display some bits and bobs that uh, I've got. And it is actually, let me cover up a little bit now. I'll pretend not to see and hide out the way for a moment. Um, it's actually a G.I. Joe, which I sort of like the action force leading on to G.I. Joe. Um, but one of their more modern boats that's alright, that gives me something to display some of the figures on as well um, I have got recently which I haven't shown again, this is another thing for another video, but I've actually been picking up a few G.I. Joe bits and a few Star Wars bits as well um, not necessarily through boot fairs, but uh, yeah, that's really good, nice little boat stick some figures on bit of a patrol boat all very good, thank you very much Gary and oh yep there's a couple more bits even a couple of bits I didn't see so. and first I'll get a couple of small bits what were in the boat there's a couple of them, like the little phone charms one's Blackout from the movie and one's from Megatron from the movies they're really nice little figures they'll go quite nice in the long when I get everything displayed with like the decoys so I shall keep them, they're very nice, thank you. There is, well, from somebody called Prime, and their YouTube name, I'm not surprised that there's a little Prime in there, from, oh, terrible with my memory, from, I don't know why I'm thinking Galaxy, why am I thinking Galaxy? <sighs> Getting old. Um, It's not Armada, it's not Energon. Oh, I'm terrible. But I know the little figure well. Um, yep, yeah. so thank you very much, Gary. That's very nice. There's a little extra. Another little extra, what he's thrown in is actually now, I think this is a game piece, and it's of Armada Megatron with these little horns. If only I could find these horns for my full size one, that would be cool. But I think that's a little game piece. Uh, there was a Transformer game for Armada, so that's very nice. And last but not least, this is something that Gary had picked up and asked if I was interested. And it is, because it goes with something um, that I've already got. And it is an Action Force, one of the sort of first wave of the Action Force diver. Now they did reuse the mould to make the actual the enemy figure for the uh, I'm trying to think what they call them now the oh it, major was it major no it was oh I'm terrible with my memory I shouldn't really do these things after I've been at work I've been up since half four um iron blood was the guy in charge of them. Red Skulls, that's it. They used it for the enemy figure of the Red Skulls, where it's like Muton, that's the, the figure's name. But uh, yeah, this is the original of that mould, which is the Deep Sea Diver. Been after one of these for a while, because I've got the Action Force sort of pontoon dinghy sort of thing that he goes on to. So that's very nice. Needs a little bit of work. I may uh, show him again. And I've done a little bit of restoration work on him to make him a little bit tidier. He's got a little bit of a colour bald spot on the back there, on the back of his diver's helmet. But very much appreciated, Gary. I really do like that. And I think that's it. I think it's slipped under the buttons. No. So that's it for the unboxing. But I do want to say thank you very much to Gary for sending these bits. It is really nice. But where guys find different bits on the boot fairs and that we can actually swap things and actually help each other find the stuff that we are really sort of craving and that. Um, I sorted him out a couple of Prime figures and a Beast Force figure which is Ramulus. You haven't already found that out already Gary. But anyway, thank you very much Gary. Um, 
as to everyone else, I hope you enjoyed a little look at what Gary sent me. Um, check out his videos and that. He's a fellow boot fair hunter, um, after my own heart. Um, I must admit, because I've been so busy with work and that, that's part of the reason why I haven't put films out at the moment and other bits generally coming up to Christmas. Um, but I haven't actually been to the boot fairs, but like I say, I have picked up other bits and I will at some point do a sort of general haul video. It'll probably be a huge one because it'll probably be after so long that there will be some bits. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Check out Gary's page like I say on YouTube Hot Rodney Prime and see some of these boot fairing videos and I hope to see you again so thank you again Gary and see you all later